My sister suggested I go wild, so I decided to heed her advice and do the craziest thing I could think of, take a walk outside. I couldn't believe my eyes. A whole convention dedicated to comic books, science fiction, and fantasy. Pretty cool, huh? Oh, hello, Nathan. You going? I'd like to. Are you? Yeah. I quit my job for the time off. Wow. Well, my job search. Mm. You know, it hasn't been announced yet, but I hear there's a special guest appearance by David Gerald. He wrote the Star Trek episode Trouble with Tribbles. Uh, no doy. I just found my spring break. I'm not really looking for a job. I don't know why I lied. I was normally a rule follower. But one of the rules of spring break is to cut loose and break rules. I'm heading out. Where are you going? To see my comic book friends. Hmm. I'm leaving in a few. You want to ride? No, I'm taking my bike. <laughs> All the way to the bus station. Something funny? Not funny. Just normal. Not smooth. Bye. So smooth. would have been illogical not to. Well, we're going to have a blast. I know this is on Spock like but I can't stop smiling. Here you are, dear sir. Let's get this pusillanimous bucket of nuts and bolts on the road. We have a Comic-Con to get to. Mr. Givens? No, oh, the pain. So how do you know Dr. Smith over there? That's not Dr. Smith. That's Mr. Gibbons. He was my high school science teacher. Oh. Uh, well, he's dressed as Dr. Smith from Lost in Space. Oh, I've never seen it. Yeah, well, you're not missing much. It was a lame kid show. I'm sorry, lame kid show? For your information, Star Trek wouldn't exist without Lost in Space. Ooh. Yeah, well, at least Star Trek didn't have to steal its robot from Forbidden Planet. Oh. I take it from their reaction, that was a good dig. Solid. Nice job. Well, if Star Trek is so great, how come Lost in Space kicked its butt in the ratings? <laughs> well, if Lost in Space is so great, how come no one's ever remade it? That's true. They're still making Star Trek movies and a new series. Yeah, which is even better than the original. <laughs> I'm sorry, what did you say? You heard me. Star Trek Next Gen is better than original series. Lost in Space brought me hours of happiness as a child. You jerks. Okay, I enjoy Mr. Data, but he's clearly just a Spock ripoff. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Mr. Data wants to be more human. Spock wants to be less human. How is that the same? Yeah. Well, I think we can all agree that William Shatner is the better actor. Yeah. Yes. Patrick Stewart is classically trained. He's a member of the Royal Shakespeare Company. Yeah. He's too subtle. When William Shatner plays an emotion, my shoe could tell what it is. <laughs> well, if you like big acting, have I got a show for you, dear boy? And Kirk is a terrible captain. He always puts the ship in danger. Picard would never do that. Oh, oh I'm sorry. I guess Picard never got assimilated by the Borg. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, our verbal fisticuffs may have seemed unfriendly, but the truth is we were engaged in a glorious tribal dance, like the revelers at Daytona Beach. I will admit, Wesley Crusher is the worst. Now you're knocking Will Wheaton. He's the best part of the show. He's an annoying know-it-all. Yeah, that's what makes him lovable. It was the best spring break I ever had, until my parents realized I was missing and I experienced something worse than the wrath of Khan, the wrath of Dad.